Keenan Jared Forbes professionally known as aka but to the most of us he is the super mega above aka is known for being a trailblazer in his style of mixing hip-hop with south african sounds which made him stand out over the years he released successful projects like alter ego levels touch my blood bovamania etc he wasn't just doing music, he was into fashion, had a collaboration with a famous vodka brand and had his own record label. Despite being successful, he did face some controversies and public scrutiny throughout his career. AKA was a father, a life partner, a son and a businessman but all of that came to an end when he lost his life on the 10th of February 2023, leaving his legacy behind. May his soul rest in paradise. Now I feel like ever since AKA died, South African hip hop started declining severely. The new school is trying to hold it down but they are failing miserably. Old hip hop like the likes of Cuesta, Kulichana, JR, Dales, KO, El Tito, Caspano Vest are quiet or at least have a commercial decline. And the new school hip hop, the likes of Aries, Younger Chief, Shane Eagle, with Nasty C carrying the pack on his shoulders and trying to burst into the international scene, not to mention the female rappers are affected too. Hip hop was already dying before AKA passed away. But since he died, it's like hip hop is officially dead. That leads us to the question, did AKA die with hip hop? Let's find out. But before starting this video, can we all shout out to Elon for this video idea? Thank you for being patient, my man. Now, let's rewind back. AKA was born in Cape Town, South Africa on the 28th of January, 1988. He kickstarted his career in 2002 as a member of a rap group called Entity. But that didn't last very long as the group disbanded in 2006. That's when AKA continued his rap journey as a solo act. AKA blew up in 2011 with the release of his commercial debut album, Alter Ego, that came with songs and anthems like Victory Lap and I Want It All, which established him as the dominating figure in South African hip hop. AKA was fresh, versatile, and innovative. Overall, just different from what his peers in the game were releasing. The likes of Pro Kid, Stuji T, Double HP, Squatta Kemp, Zola 7, Peach Black Afro, Reason, etc. AKA continued releasing hit after hit, collaborating with fellow peers on singles and projects. 2014, he released his best selling diamond album, Levels. He was on the top of the world, him and other rappers coexisting, but he remained the biggest rapper in South Africa. There was a rapper that stepped into the spotlight and went on to have a beef with AKA. I'm talking about Caspanyo Vest. He blew up with his hit Doc Shebeleza in 2014 while AKA was promoting his lead single Congratulate. But that didn't stop AKA as the album went on and got his certification as a diamond album. By numbers, AKA won. Hip hop continued to grow even with the rise of calm music they pushed through. Obviously in Durban, they religiously still play calm, but they still coexisted in terms of popularity. Hip hop came with the new school, the likes of Questa, Ricky Rick, MT, Nasty C, Witness the Funk, I don't know if you remember them. Aries, etc. South African artists collaborating with international acts and also POM gaining popularity internationally. The hip hop decline was a global thing during the 2020s. As now it's so easy to get into the music industry. Now the audience gets to choose who they want, talented or not. In South Africa, 2019, that's when Amapiano was gaining momentum. Then 2020, 
it became international and very popular domestically making some of the artists pivot their genre the young stunners the focalistic were doing hip-hop before they did i'm a piano but that's a story for another day as we know that aka likes to blend genres he did that with jiga featuring young chief that's when nasty c was at his peak with his song sma promoting his album strings and bling and plenty of songs of his including lemons released in 2022 and it's still popular to this day proves that anything that comes aka's way he's always gonna fight it he is always going to innovate his music to sound as fresh as possible the thing is since aka passed away hip-hop is quiet that leads me to the question did aka die with hip hop. I mean, where are AKA's peers? Kulichana, Questa. My opinion, I don't think AKA died with hip hop. Hip hop has been declining with the rise of Amapiano, taking over even when he was still alive. But for him, he was still generating streams as a lot of us loved his music. I think we miss him as he was the standard of success in South Africa, in South African hip hop, and we respect him as a hip hop icon. Guys, please stop comparing this guy Azul or Azulo to AKA. Y'all like he's stealing AKA's flow and persona. Ironic that he's also colored, but I checked out this guy. His older music. This has been his style before AKA released it levels. He's just starting to gain attention now. If you don't believe me, check him out on your own. But shout out to Elon for this video idea. I was still researching. There was some things I couldn't find and double checked some things. But anyway, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't yet. Here's the question of the day for you to answer in the comments below. Do you think AKA died with SA Hip Hop? Let's conversate and debate in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. And just like that, we out.